Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm in a different car today it's because I just took delivery of my Proton X50 flagship. So, as you can see from the sunroof right here, I'm not sure whether you can see in the video, but this is the flagship variant. So, as you guys probably already know that I daily my Volkswagen Sirocco, but apparently it has been giving some issues. The ABS pump has been giving some issues and it has been in the workshop for a month already. So I knew I needed a replacement um, daily driver just because of uh, I just wanted to keep the car mileage lower just because of all the maintenance that's actually coming. I didn't want to like you know ruin the car. So I had three cars that I was considering. Actually, was the Azia, the Ativa, and the X50. I know this very big price difference, but the Azia would be a very good city car. Just because of its compact size and you know Malaysia, the jams and the parking and all this and Asia will be a perfect car for daily driving. But apparently uh, the wait time was 7 months and I didn't have 7 months to wait and I was in urgent need of a replacement car. So I went ahead and inquired about the Ativa. But the wait time was still as long. So after much consideration, I decided to call up Proton, Puchong branch and actually ask them whether they had stock for the X50N. In fact, they were overstocked. So they had actually ready stock. They had four units of the color that I wanted. This is the white color. They had four units in stock. So I was like, okay, since I got my loan done, uh, I decided to just transfer over the loan. And I got this car within less than a week. So less than you can consider you minus out Saturday, Sunday, because Saturday is half day, Sunday is like they're off. So I got this before seven days. So I considered this really, really good. And I'm actually pretty impressed overall after I test drove the flagship so I've actually test driven the MPI version of my friend's cars and uh, I felt that the power was actually lacking of course that is like a 27 uh, horsepower difference on paper at least uh, in terms if you consider the regular three regular variants with the flagship and also another thing is that the flagship the reason I chose the flagship is because it's using the same engine that was developed for Volvo so which means that Parts shouldn't be a problem, I hope. Of course, still a three cylinder. Yeah, uh, all the cars which I considered were actually three cylinder. In fact, I am not a big fan of three cylinder just because of uh, the vibration issues. But after actually test driving and driving this car for the past 300 km for three days, uh, in fact, this car has been really, really good. The very little vibration. In fact, if you hold the steering, you hold the center console, everything is very little vibration. Of course, it is a new car. Uh, you have to factor that in i'm not sure how it's going to age with time but so far it's been really really good in fact so in terms of the upholstery everything i do love the black finish of course uh, the black finish means that it is easier to maintain uh, unlike my uh, cream color or gray color interior finishing of the sirocco and a couple of cars which i had plus it makes the car look more cozy uh, overall the seats wise seats wise they are actually uh, comfortable I wouldn't say they are on the sporty side, but they are comfortable. It holds my my ribs, the side of my body actually pretty well. It hugs my body pretty well, and it's uh, actually overall okay. I wish this seat had more adjustability in terms of lumbar support, uh, my thigh support. I feel that it's a bit lacking. It's a bit short because I am pretty tall. Uh, other than that, in fact, all the trimmings, I would say they are on the class of the Tiguan. As you know, I already reviewed the Tiguan which I own, and in fact, I would say that. This is actually soft touch believe it or not the dashboard everything is soft touch which is actually pretty impressive for this segment uh, many cars like ativa for example of course it's much cheaper but many cars in this segment they are actually all hard plastic of course there, there is hard plastic like the lower portion of the door panel but what is there to complain right of course the price of this car did go up currently it is at 116,000 ringgit on the road it used to be like 103 to 106,000 back then when it launched uh, of course I did get a small discount with this car and all that but even while the discount is still on a slightly higher side getting towards the Civic uh, price range um, in fact the competitors are the HRV which is way more expensive as you guys already know um, but overall I think this car is really really nice it's been really really comfortable in fact the back suspension is super comfortable of course you're thinking of like taking like Hard corners and stuff, yes, there will be body roll. Definitely, because the center of gravity is higher in SUV. But if you compare this with the Tiguan, yeah, it's 
big difference because the Tiguan has adaptive suspension this does not have so I'm talking in terms of comparing this car with the Tiguan which is like about uh, 90,000 ringgit difference which you can buy probably another Ativa or a base N X50 but in terms of handling I would say this is really good really really good the body roll yes even though there is I'll be playing to put ultra racing strut bars at least the stage 1 bar strut, strut bar and the anti-roll bar to help with that uh, but then that the car has been really comfy I've been really enjoying it fuel consumption wise still on the higher side because it is not running yet of course uh, I once I do the first thousand kilometers I guess it'll be it will get better okay so let me bring you guys around to see the exterior of the car of course it's a stock car uh, you've seen tons of it but I did fit it with the urban package so which means that it comes with the smart tech reader inbuilt into the car of course it doesn't come with it they retrofit it it comes with a smart tech reader it comes with the coil mats which I'm not a big fan of as you know I do not like coil mats uh, it comes with the power tailgate which is something that I think many of people do miss out of course the price is quite high considering that it is 3,500 ringgit I like if you go for the aftermarket uh, tailgate which only costs like 1,000, 4,500 ringgit excluding installation but honestly I would rather go with something that Proton installed just because of the warranty issues I do not want to have any like wiring issues, electrical issues and then they'll say oh no it's actually the third party uh, installer that actually messed up your car you know? okay guys so taking a tour around the car you can see it is stock standard this is the white variant so you do have the two-tone roof and the body so the body is white the roof is black uh, something like the Ativa uh, but of course this came first I think uh, we do have like the calipers which are painted red which saves me the hassle of painting my own calipers you can see four wheel disc brakes really really good see the rear so I did do some glass coating which I have to actually clean off uh, I haven't done that yet so the rims yes the rims are kind of in which I'm not a big fan of. I like like rims that are flush with the body panel. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, this is the powered tailgate. See right here. It's honestly kind of noisy in my opinion. If you compare with something that comes from the factory itself, like the CRV, the Tiguan one, those stuff, the the the, the struts, the electric electronic struts or whatever you want to call them, uh, those are actually much quieter. So you can see boost space is not too bad. I did retrofit this car with uh, Ampro tint so these are the unique series so it's like the best of the best okay, you can see this one used to be a handle but now it is a button so you can see right here so it works as advertised we do have a reverse camera right here this car has the 360 camera so which means there are more sensors because there's a uh, how to say blind spot monitoring and stuff like that so six sensors on the rear two the three four five and six so this is only on the flagship variant i believe we do have a camera down in the mirror here so we do have a touch lock feature on the door handles you can see the mirror is actually closed i can't lock it because the keys in the car you can see the headlamps everything so far so good you can see that's also the panoramic sunroof okay so in terms of the back you can see right here pretty good leg room considering that I'm tall and I do push the seat quite far back you can see that uh, it's actually pretty good leg room here uh, I wish this part was a little bit bigger because sometimes people do have a problem getting out the leg yeah so there's something probably I guess it's a compact SUV uh, trade-off so we do have aircon vents and also USB ports we do have uh, armrest right here which I haven't taken on the plastic so yeah and then you can see uh, basically here has uh, I do have a car seat which is like I pushed it I pushed the seat quite back so you can see the leg room is still pretty spacious the so far the seat has seats has been pretty good uh, it has been very comfortable in fact uh, consider this uh, actually Tiguan level in fact these are really really comfortable uh, I, of course the red and uh, black doesn't really match with the white of the car on the outside if you've taken the silver you've taken the red version uh, those will probably match better but anyways I do like the white because I think it uh, has a very big contrast so we do have like lights right here so these are very nice uh, retractable handles and they do not just flip 
close they just slowly recline themselves so it's really really nice panoramic sunroof is something that i do love and i wish the sirocco had because sirocco one is kind of like redundant in fact uh, but anyways this is a very practical sunroof it's very good if you go to Genting and all you do want to open the sunroof you don't want to open the windows so this is a very good uh, something very good feature to have okay so let's go back into the car so being the flagship variant of the x50 we do have the full airbag configuration i believe six correct me if i'm wrong uh and we do have the six speaker setup of course the audio quality that's something which i will talk about in the cons so let me show you guys the center console so yeah the center console i think is really really nice i do like this uh, shift knob right here the gear shift selector or whatever you call this so as for the aircon vents i believe i don't know i do not have i don't know what to feel about this um they do not have like the, the feature where you can just individually off the vent so i wish that they had that feature but um so far it, it works i guess uh hazard signals are here and then i think this is pretty nice over all the configuration here i wish they had the wireless charger of course they do have the wireless charger accessory but they were out of stock so i could not get it but anyways it is what it is i just use uh the bank's uh maxi wireless charger which i was sponsored with a couple of months back i guess or a year back so i think this works pretty nicely so below here is the smart tech reader which is connected to the sensor right here so i did this install before i did the tin so they actually can cut out the the hole for this reader and it works with the latest uh, e-wallet compatible card so you don't have to worry so a lot of um, places especially in parkings they do not actually support this new card but this reader actually supports this card so that's a good thing so i think that this uh, smarter reader is not really worth the money um you can get it on lazada for like 250 ringgit and of course install maybe another 50 ringgit or 60 ringgit i guess depends on where you go to install uh anyways i just uh, decided to do everything with them and uh the major thing was the power boot so yeah the the whole combo is actually not that worth it but since proton is installing it for me why not right and i also did do a uh, dash cam so this dash cam is the 70 my a500 pro uh something like that pro plus i believe so this dash cam also has a uh, rear cam support but i didn't want to open the all the seals and stuff like that to pull the wiring so i decided not to go with the rear cam plus my tin is pretty dark so the rear cam because at 1080p night mode is not that great it's going to be uh, just a mess so i decided to skip the rear cam and just go with the front cam besides the front cam is actually the one that is more useful in terms of any accident so the things which i don't like about this car is actually the door handles one of the things actually so if let me show you guys so this door handle is something that i really do not like you can hear it's a very cheap plastic i've seen people actually breaking this in half uh, i don't know how they pulled it but it shows that it is vulnerable to snapping so if you do have a kit that pulls all the handles very rough yeah this is definitely gonna break right here they actually broke right here i saw there was a post on the x50 community and of course the player right here the main head unit is something that i think a lot of people do not really like just it's connected to the internet it does have all the features you can actually control your car with your phone and stuff like that uh but if they actually want to do it they want something that uh there's all the high-tech features they should actually make sure it works before they actually release it this player honestly i don't know what know what to say high proton does not work well yep. you can see now it works when i don't want it to work uh the player is super laggy you can see right here everything is laggy when i click on it you see it takes forever to open uh, so i'm going to like pause the music so i don't get copyright strike but you can see it's such a, a pain in the ass to be honest this player i wish they actually did some improvements the new atlas os is still crap i believe this on the new variant the new os the new update but honestly oh my god i've never seen a hit unit this laggy in many 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 years and moreover it does not have uh, apple carplay support or android auto support just because it does not have enough ram 
guys seriously if you do want to have a very nice screen you know, honestly the design is really nice that's something i got to compliment them for but make it functional at least make it functional because honestly just these three days of using this player right oh my god i don't know how many hiccups i had with this and of course they should have one with apple carplay of course there is a dongle i believe from carlink kit that has the apk file that actually will activate the app wireless or wired apple carplay uh, feature and there's youtube as well but people have to actually take out another 250 ringgit just to have the feature i mean uh probably i'll be one of them but um currently i think that they should actually improve this overall with the new variant so actually that's more or less my grabs on this car i believe uh, the door handles need some work the player really needs tons of work the self-driving feature on this car uh is pretty good uh, of course in certain traffic conditions sometimes it just drives like a newbie driver it like goes left and right left and right doesn't give me the confidence of honda sensing honda sensing was still one of the better uh, self so-called level 2 self-driving uh, system of course that costs more i think the honda crv i spent fifteen thousand extra but yeah uh, this comes in the car so no i'm not really complaining at all so in terms of the complaints people have had with this car besides the player the player still exists the player issues and all the bugs whatever uh is that the wind noise on the window sill uh with the 2023 batch just the one i'm having right here the 2023 batch uh, I, I can say that the wind noise has been settled because I've actually heard to try other earlier production models and there was a high pitch noise at the window sill right here so they have actually fixed it uh, that's a great thing in my opinion um, that's, that's the reason why I took the 2023 variant more or less the issues have all been fixed so if you're interested to get an X50 make sure you get the 2023 patch so the only wind noise which i can hear which is quite prominent uh, of course not that loud as the one here uh it is the mirror design so you can see the mirror right here all the wind noise is actually coming from the cap the way the cap is designed i mean you're like driving around 110 kilometers per hour so um i guess there's something we cannot help it because of the design of the car so overall this car has been really really good i am enjoying the ride of this car in fact uh i'm hoping the fuel consumption improves i hope the atlas os on the player actually gets updated to a more stable build at least give us apple carplay android auto with this really really nice touch screen um app support on the phone has been uh, not a really good experience but after all the communication with the support team uh, they actually fixed it i couldn't sign into my car so that's kind of a risk shows that i'm not the owner which means that probably someone has my car details so that's kind of actually worrying because this car is always connected to internet and uh, people can actually see where the car is so finally got all that settled so now the car works just as it is supposed to so i guess that's all for this video guys i uh, hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one i know i haven't done videos in a long while but yeah this uh start of something new uh probably be doing some minor stuff which i will be actually bringing you guys uh, for with me for like a uh, sort of like probably some diy stuff and all uh, i'll be definitely getting some uh, carbon fiber parts just to protect the trimmings of the car uh in the time to come so thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video